Okay, everyone, we're back to show you how to gel a bore. Now, the bores I use, the Heritage gel bores, are um, Umo's uh, 83 millimeter, 25.5, 26 ish. Some of them are a little bigger than that. Uh, and they're 83 millimeters. They're a tall one, okay? They're made for, I mean, I can drop them down a little bit. I have in some handles where people request them to go lower. Um, but, uh, bores come in all sizes. They come in short, tall. Uh, I think there's some stocky ones too, but it's a nice, decent, dense bore. So this is what I use for our gel bore. I used to use the, uh, the Omega. I used to take it out of the Omega handle, but it's just not a good knot for, um, for uh gelling i mean i that was my like test pilot knot and uh, i know some of you guys got them and uh they gel but they're just a, they're not as soft as these these turned out really really soft and again this is the umo bleached bore not the non-bleach this is the bleach bore so that's if you're going to do this and you want the same results you want to start out with the bleach bore all right so the product i use is the clairol bw2 on this okay it's um it's a very strong solution and you're going to smell the bleach on it too and i use a 50 developer on this one and you can get a big bottle of this for like you see on there 5 30 five bucks six bucks whatever okay and this will last you a good while but i'm only going to do one for today's demonstration purposes so i'm going to take this powder just like i did the first one and I'm going to put some in my bowl again. Actually, I'm going to do two because I've got somebody else that needs one that ordered one. Let me run and grab another bowl. I'll be right back, guys. All right, so here we go, same thing. We're gonna do two of them this time. All right, so again, shake up your little mixture here and you're gonna pour it in. I just try to cover the whole top of the, of the powder. And then, oops. We're gonna mix it up like I did the last time. And if somebody else has a different way that they gel their knots, then by all means, show it. But this is how I've learned to do it. And uh, a little bit was through asking my brush maker, because he doesn't like to gel um, the knots. He says it damages them, which he's right. It damages the, the, the tip. It uh, um, splits the hairs. But that's what the community wants. That's what the market wants. So give the market what it wants. And I've got so many gel knots. I I I don't make any more for myself. I just uh, I'm actually I'm actually exploring some good synthetic knots now, trying to find the holy grail of synthetic. Okay, so this is a different one altogether. How we do this one. So this I like to use plastic around the knots when I'm done with it. I'll show you why, because when I heat them, it's gonna keep that heat in there and really work them, because you wanna get the whole knot gelled, and not just the tips, you wanna get all the insides gelled really nice. So, again, trial and error, that's what I learned. So, we're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it just like this, and I gotta get my little knot box out here, so I can set them in when I'm done. So again, you're dunking the knot in there, Get it all up inside there. 
Get it around. So you see, it's all over the insides. And then you wanna, you wanna paint the whole outside of it too. Not just the top, you wanna get these outer ones too. We didn't do that on the Badger because it would have made the whole thing white. But on this one, we wanna do it on this because we want this whole knot to be, like some guys describe it as a, it's a painter. But it's still gonna have some, some, uh, some density to it and some backbone. It's, it's a bore. But as you see, you get it nice and coated. And we're gonna set it in its little spot there and we're gonna do another one. One of these goes out to my boy, Sarasota. Okay, so then you just coat the hole. Sides of it. And this here, you're gonna leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, a little longer. And you may need a second, because this is a stronger hair, you may need a second treatment of just the top. I don't like to do the bottom treated again because it gets real soft with the first initial uh, run. I don't want to, I, I did one one time like that and, and it, the whole knot started coming apart. And, and I mean, that's just, you're ruining the knot. So let me rinse this off. I didn't wear my gloves today. I had a guy tell me one time, he knows who he is if he's watching this video. Yeah, man, I took one of your knots. This is before I was gelling them. I took one of your knots and I sanded them. I took them out to the garage and I took sandpaper to them trying to get the, the ends to split. <laughs> hey, if it works, if it gelled for you, great. But I don't think that's a way to gel knots. Okay, so we're gonna get our little thing up here and you see them sitting in there. So I'm gonna cover it with plastic. And I'll show you why. Because it's gonna retain the heat and everything in there. And you don't have to keep the, you don't have to keep the, and make sure you leave a little bit of a hole in there for yourself to get the air out. You don't have to keep the heat on it constantly for 15 minutes. I usually do it for, for, you know, five minutes maybe, and then I'll shut it off and I'll come back 10 minutes later, do it for another five minutes, shut it off. And then right at the 30 minute mark, 25 minutes, I'll hit it again for five minutes and then I'll take them off and I'll rinse them. So again, hit it with your hair dryer. You wanna get right on top of the knots and just warm this whole inside package here. Again, this is just my method. Somebody else may do theirs different. This is just how I do mine. And I try to squeeze the knots, the gels, uh, the, excuse me, the bores, because it helps get the whole knot nice and soft, not just the tips. You just keep hitting it with heat. All right, and there you have it. I'm gonna go continue on afterward, but I think you get the point and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what we do after uh, they're done being treated.